Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Two conservative powerhouses are teaming up to take another top university official scalp on plagiarism charges. This time, it's the DEI czar over at the UCLA School of Medicine, a woman who has a lot of power and influence over your future doctor or surgeon at a time in which medical malpractice is one of the leading causes of death in America. But hey, at least your doctor will know the power of two-spirit indigenous women, spilled with, spelled with an X, of course, and about structural racism as they watch you take your last breath on the gurney from an entirely preventable cause. When are we going to realize that all this supposed progress with progressives is really just regressivism? We're going way back and not in a good way. Anyway, all jokes aside, Christopher Ruffo of City Journal and Luke Rosiak of the Daily Wire are uncovering evidence that Dr. Natalie J. Perry stole academic work, which she passed off as her own, while publishing her sole paper since 2014, a dissertation on why colleges should expand their diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. Either Dr. Perry is lazy or DEI programs are just so terrible that it's impossible to argue in favor of them in a unique way. So all DEI activists are stuck with is rehashing each other's semi-coherent arguments. Either way, it's not a good look for the left. Joining us now to discuss which he and Christopher Rufo write about in this piece for The Daily Wire is their investigative reporter, Luke Rosiak. Luke, thanks for being here tonight. Okay, so when you say that Dr. Perry was plagiarizing her dissertation about how much of it are we talking about? Is it a lot, a little bit? Explain that for us. It's the worst plagiarism I've ever seen. I mean, we remember the president of Harvard having to resign because of her plagiarism, several other examples. And there seems to be a pattern here where it keeps happening in DEI uh, entities and DEI hires in particular. Uh, but this is the worst I've ever seen. It's thousands of words from 10 different papers in one case, five continuous pages of her dissertation are just one big copy and paste from another paper. Um, and, you know, she doesn't even mention that these other papers exist. She just takes from them and then copies the citations that they use. So this is the, the mortal cardinal sin of academia, and it's really as, as worse, as, as bad as plagiarism could ever get. Like you're saying that even sometimes the copy and pasting, uh, you were talking about in your article that at first blush, it might seem like, see, she's citing her sources right there. It's, you know, right there in the footnotes or it's embedded within the, the essay itself. But like you said, that was even copied and pasted from the original source that she took it from. So even that is not original. Uh, but I guess maybe that's how it passed, you know, being able to be published. I really don't know at this point. But have you heard back from UCLA on this? Are they responding to this expose at all? Remarkable parts. I mean, we shared our uh, extensive evidence with them on uh, April 12th. So it's been about, what, 11 days now. And uh, there's been not a peep from UCLA. She's still listed on their website. Um, and so that's going to be, you know, this is already a story, not just about one woman. It's about she got her master's degree from Harvard. She got her PhD from the University of Virginia. And then she got hired as an administrator at the University of uh, California, Los Angeles School of Medicine. And so she passed through all of those institutions seemingly without being able to string a coherent sentence together. Um, and what's funny is when she does copy and paste these thousands of words, she'll try to alter the occasional word here and there. And almost without fail, she adds a grammatical error or a spelling error or something like that when she does so. Um, and then there's a section of her paper where she didn't plagiarize and it's just complete nonsense. There's like random punctuation in the middle of uh, paragraphs, like slash marks and things like that. Um, this was a PhD that never should have happened. There was red flags everywhere. Um, you know, you mentioned that she copied and pasted the parenthetical citations, but she didn't list the names of those papers at the bottom. That was something that her, you know, academic advisor presumably would have caught. So it really implicates the whole culture here and the whole discipline. I um, mean, most of these people aren't getting degrees in something called critical race theory. They're getting degrees in education. And a big part of the education master's degree and Ph.D. programs have just been people writing about race 100 percent of the time. Um, but of course, she doesn't even work for one of those departments now. It may be that at UVA, she was surrounded by other racial scholars and everybody either looked the other way or wasn't savvy enough to see these blatant red flags. But now we're talking about the leadership of the full UCLA School of Medicine. As you mentioned, I mean, we kind of need doctors so we don't die. 